I'm sorry about Dion. Don't be. Please. He did what he had to do. And it's time we did the same. Because of the cough. No, oh, I think we're past that, Clive. Uh, I suppose we are. That light, so cold, so empty. We're close, aren't we? It uh, seems that way. But I don't want to think what could be waiting for us in there. Then think instead of those waiting for us at home. self-preservation. You condemned an entire world so that you alone might escape death. Alone? Him. Alone. Life. I think I understand. He... Theirs that grew stronger. We can become one, 
of the destructive flames of Ifrit and the healing flames of the Phoenix. This, I once believed, would be Ultima's true form. But I was wrong. I see it now. Why you will never become Ultima's vessel. I don't care. Just hold on. Listen to me, Clive. Do you remember the murals? People once knew that Ultima was their god. That he created them. And they worshipped him, prayed to him, looked to him for guidance. In vain. In vain. For he did not listen, did not acknowledge our will. And so we strayed from his path to forge one of our own. So absorbed was he in his own desires, so driven by his own will alone, that he shunned the one thing that could have made him truly powerful. Faith. The same faith people now place in you. Faith that you will fulfill their dream, Sid's dream, of creating a better world for us. Faith that you will follow in Father's footsteps and save those who need saving most. Faith that you will answer Jill's plea to save yourself. The difference is, Clive, that you chose to listen, and that is what has steeled our bonds. Bonds that helped you stand firm when Ultima's pole was at its strongest. His power may be absolute, but so is ours, and so will yours be. With my light in your heart, not even a god might stop us. Joshua! Don't, don't do it, you're... Enough, Clive. My body is too far gone. If the wound does not take me, the curse will. <laughs>
still here. With me. To the end. Even now, you would deny the inevitable.
force feeds these flames. I sense more here than mere will. Is this Logos? Have you truly become free? No, I forbid it. You are not a god. You are but flesh and bone. You are not one of us. I created you, all of you. And what is mine, is mine to destroy. Once perhaps, but we are no longer yours. Our flames are our own, and they burn as one! Damned is the slave who would turn the spirit upon his master! <laughs> <laughs>